<clears throat> hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a blank template um, for the Breeze software. Um, first of all, you got to open up your DSLR Pro Remote. Um, you want to go to File and you want to go to Photo Boot Settings. On that settings, um, you want to open up your custom layout settings right here. When you click on it, you're, you're opening out your uh, custom uh, layout for the for your photo booth. Um, you want to know what the um, size of printer uh, paper you're going to be using, so you'll probably want to click on this one where it says printer info. Uh, so you can see this is not the right printer. It's uh, actually uh, pointing at the HP Office Jet, which is our, our regular printer at the office. So let me change that settings right now to the uh, the correct printer so I wanna choose uh, high tie and then uh, 6 by 4 I wanna do uh, uh, say for instance I wanna do a uh, 6 by 4 uh, strip photo strip and I wanna do that in landscape uh, go to file Photo boot settings, go back to your custom layout settings, and it'll open up your photo booth custom layout. Go back to the printer info, and right here uh, it'll show you what type of printer you're using. Where in this case, I'm using a print, the printer that I'm using is for a high tie P510L. The printable page is 1844 in pixels, and the printable page height is 1240. That is the top to bottom. The 1844 is the left to right. If we were talking in inches, it, it would be 6.13 by 4.12. Okay, so now we know it's 1844 by 1240. Um, we want to do the preset once so that you don't have to keep changing it. Uh, we'll go to the preset and we'll, you know, as you can see, everything here is already set up. So if you choose a single strip of four, you know it's it's already preset for you each one of these borders are 50 according to this it's all 50 so you can see it turns red those are all 40 um, to create this border uh, it's very very simple uh, let me show you how to do that at uh, the Adobe Photoshop first of all you gotta open your Adobe Photoshop uh, to create the border you have to go file new um, well, before you create the border, make a uh, transparent. Make the resolution at 301. Uh, you want the width to be 1844 and you want the height to, to be 1240. And then you want to title this uh, template uh, a 4x6 photo strip template. Okay, now that we got that titled let's just take all those grids out now this is just a transparent now as you can see earlier this is 1844 and the top to bottom is 1240 now we want to create the border around that so here's how we're gonna do it we're gonna go to file new we're gonna make it to so its transparent same thing as you can see it highlighted it um, 1844 is fine except this one we're gonna change that to 50 and then we're gonna hit OK See, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna turn that into white, or maybe black, just so you can see it. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the whole thing by hitting Control A, and then Control X, and then we're gonna get out of here, and we're gonna go back to our template and hit Control V. And then just put it all the way on the edge and then hit control V again and then put it all the way on the edge now we're gonna create the border for this one so now we're gonna go new and because we know that the whole height is 1240 and we took 50 and 50 we have to subtract 100 from 1240 so now the height will actually be 1140 and we want it to be 50 in thickness and then we're gonna hit OK again that's gonna create that we wanna change that into black so we know 
and we can see it. Now we're going to hit Control A again, Control X, and we're going to get out of here and go back here. And then hit Control V. So you can see it just laid it out there straight. Now all you're doing is you're hitting Shift and you're, you're, you're uh, clicking on your left mouse button and you're going to go drag it all the way to the left. And you're going to do another one. So you're going to go Control V and then do the same thing. Push the Shift button, hold it, and then hold your left mouse button and move it on the right. And there you have a perfect uh, border of 50-50. This is basically the border that the preset of the pre-software has. So now what you want to do is you basically want to create um, each one in terms of the paper size. Um, so you want to figure out what size those pictures are in order for you to create that. And I know for a fact that those size are uh, the printable size is 50 by 346 meaning um, from here this is 346 and then this is 50, this is 520 so we're gonna go file new and then we're gonna go 520 I mean we're gonna go 346 and then this one we're gonna change this one to 520 the height and then we're gonna change that into white okay this is gonna be where your transparent will be located we're gonna hit control A control X and we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go control V so you can see it's right there so now we're gonna go we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it all the way to the edge but to figure out just to make sure that everything is all the way to the edge I'll do this so that we don't see any leak. All right, and then another one, Control V. Basically, you do this for the same thing on all four of them. And I just put it there. You know what? I don't know what that size is yet, so let me hit Control Alt Z and then go back to my uh, this one. Control A, Control X. Where did I put that? Uh, right there. Control V. Move that there. This one in white. Control A, X. Go back here. back here and I believe it's this one no it's this one control a X let me just put that back into the black one I keep forgetting yeah make sure you lined it up you could zoom in just to make sure it's lined up Right now I'm just showing you a sample, so I want to do it as quick as possible. Go back here. Control A, Control X, Control V. Go back here. Control V. Line it up there. Control V. It looks lined up in there, but I'm sure once I zoom in it's not really lined up. But I'm just trying to show you how this thing all works. Control V. Just so you know that it really doesn't take much to create this overlay. And go back here. Control 
A, Control X, Control D, and then go back here, Control V. And this is the last photo strips that I'm doing. Control V. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna take the wand and I'm gonna I'm going to uh, see where this, this transparent is left right there. Um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna change this color right here. If I can it's not doing it. I'm gonna go I'm gonna flatten this image. No, I should have not done that. Alright, I am going to take this mouse and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go and do this and then I'm gonna change that into black and then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to do this and I'm gonna change that into black so now what I can do is I can Change that into black. Make sure there's no leak. There's still leaks. Let's just change this whole thing right here. And delete it. And then what we'll do is we're gonna flatten the whole thing. Okay. Now see how it when it when I flattened it, everything just kind of went away. All it turned all into black. What we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the whole thing and control and hit control X what it did is it copied the whole thing and we're gonna open up another file another new file same thing 1844 1240 301 resolution this time we're gonna do it in transparent and then we're gonna paste it here what we just did and then we're gonna take the magic wand and then highlight each one and hit delete 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 and basically you already made your uh, template in terms of uh, how you're gonna use your presets from the breeze software uh, all you gotta do now is hit file save as make sure you save it as a raw file meaning PSD uh, just title it template uh, save it in here into your file um, so now each time you wanna create uh, a custom layout you just pull that file which is you go open you go to desktop and look for that now it's pulled it it's already open so anyways hit text you want to change this into white you know and then you want to create a text and I think it's huge you want to go maybe 35 Type in happy birthday. Birthday. That's still too big. So I want to change that to maybe 15. And then, you know, go to edit and then transform, rotate, and then just rotate it there. And then you say yes, you want to apply that. Now take this mouse and then point, point it to the pointer so you can drag that thing there and you're pretty much doing the same thing you know so you just want to go right there and then hit copy 